as we found the derivative of sine inverse x similarly let's try to find out the derivative of cos inverse x uh, let me suppose our function y is cos inverse of x so uh, since it is inverse when it will go left hand side it will be cos y equals to x since our trig function is uh, of the angle of y I mean, since our trig ratio cos is uh, having angle y, so we need to differentiate both sides. If we want to, uh, if we want to find out the derivative of this, then with respect to y, we need to find out. Then differentiating both sides with respect to y, now it will be a derivative of cos y with respect to y equals to now derivative of x with respect to y. So a derivative of cos y is actually minus of sine y, and derivative of x with respect to y so again uh, minus is as it is and sine y just I'm talking about this sine y I can write like 1 minus cos square y and as a root over and you know how it came right uh, because because sine y is actually 1 minus cos square y root over all right uh, now it is dx over the dy let's put the value of everything here cos y is x so instead of cos y I can use x so it will be now 1 minus x square and this minus and dx over dy so if we arrange it properly what we will get that dy over the dx is actually minus 1 over 1 minus x square this is how we find the derivative of cos inverse y is here cos inverse x so what we get here that uh, derivative of cos inverse uh, x is equal with minus 1 1 minus x square all right now uh, this we will be using like identity like a formula to find the derivative of other cos inverse uh, uh, cos inverse functions all right for example suppose if I'm taking any example here uh, let me suppose y equals to cos inverse anything like uh, uh, 4x plus 5 suppose okay now we have an example of cos inverse function that is cos inverse 4x plus 5 so if you want to use this formula direct directly then simply nothing you do you just write dy over the dx equals to derivative of cos inverse 4x plus 5 uh, with respect to its angle so it is 4x plus 5 and you need to differentiate that part also 4x plus 5 with respect to x and now cos inverse 4x plus 5 uh, with respect to 4x plus 5 derivative of cos inverse x with respect to x I mean cos inverse angle with respect to its angle so cos inverse angle with respect to its angle what we can write now same like this minus 1 divided by 1 minus uh, instead of x what we have angle here our angle is here now 4x plus 5 so it will be the square of 4x plus 5 okay and this is inside the root times now derivative of uh, 4x plus 5 so derivative of 4x plus 5 with respect to x will be 4 and a derivative of x will be 1 and 1 plus a derivative of 9 is a constant so 0 so finally what we get we get minus 4 over 1 minus 4x plus 5 whole square alright so this is our uh, required derivative of the inverse uh, of a cos inverse function all right this is our answer uh, but if you want to uh, do in the similar this way as we did here then you can go like this same it is all right like if our function is uh, cos inverse of uh, 4x plus 5 then it will be now cos y will be 4x plus 5 now you can differentiate both sides with respect to y because cos has the angle y so it will be now derivative of cos y with respect to uh, y will be 4 times derivative of x with respect to y and in next step what you can write derivative of cos y is actually uh, sine y minus sine y and 4 times dx over dy over dy alright so further what you can write uh, that it's minus and sine y you can write 1 minus cos square y alright inside the root so it is 4 times dx over the dy and now if I will arrange it properly then I will get dy over the dx is equal with minus 4 1 minus cos square y alright 
and now minus 4 what is the cos square y what is cos y cos y is actually 4x plus 5 so it is 1 minus 4x plus 5 whole square all right inside the root this is our answer and in both way we got the same answer here also we get the same answer and here also we had got the same answer all right so uh, as you wish however you want to solve but you got almost uh, 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 the way uh, how we exactly find out the derivative of cos inverse or in previous video we learned derivative of sine inverse and to find the derivative of uh, inverse circle of functions all right so uh, catch you in the next video with uh, derivative of tan inverse okay so stay tuned goodbye